Good morning, everyone. Very happy to have you today for our webinar call presented by Avery Denison and uh, Impinge. Um, the, um, the webinar will uh, talk about uh, um, healthcare and pharma um, supply chain in the, uh, with Rhino RFID technology. Frank and Vincent will be presenting this um, uh, webinar. But just before they start introducing themselves, I would like to remind you that if you have questions, you can ask them in the question tab and we will answer them at the end of the presentation. Uh, this presentation will be recorded. So at the end of this presentation, you will receive like an hour, two hours after this um, webinar, a replay link, and you will also have access to some extra documentation that will be also available in this email. So now I will let Frank and Vincent um, present you this very nice webinar and I wish you um, a good presentation. Thank you, bye-bye. Well, good every morning, everybody also from my side. My name is Frank Smits. I'm a business development manager at RFID for EMEA at Avery Dennison. Well, great to see so many people joining from the pharma and healthcare market. This really shows us there's a strong demand to learn on how our new technology can deliver supply chain transparency. We at Avery Dennison were there in the beginning of automatic identification with barcode technology and have supplied all the right materials to print and the right adhesive to be compliant with all regulations. And now we see ourselves in the phase of RAIN RFID and NFC usage, but we, of course, will continue to invest in new technologies. This is a roadmap of a progressive family. And think about printed electronics directly on packaging or passive Bluetooth technology like Widiot, where identification and sensor data like temperature can be communicated without a battery. And instead of using a battery, Whittier attacks generate power by harvesting power from all kinds of radio frequency energy like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular. And the data from these tags then can be read by any Bluetooth low energy device, the smartphones we all carry around with us, Wi-Fi devices with BLE, and even smart speakers. And these tags can sense temperature, movement, opening of packaging, and a range of other things in the future. And we also have full range of RFID tags now that can detect when packaging has been tampered with and facilitate authentication of your packaging. In the race to a vaccine at the moment, we expect also fake medication being introduced in the supply chain. So to protect your brand, it is important that you ensure patients get authentic medication. And also patients nowadays are getting way more demanding on knowing what they put into the body that can be trusted, and if the origin is okay. Avery Dennison is ready for the next steps in intelligent packaging and labeling, and we will continue to invest in this. And I am sure many of you already know that the pharmaceutical space is an area that is growing rapidly, both in terms of traditional labels materials and in adoption of new technologies to improve efficiencies. In recent years, Impinge and Avery Denison have observed pharmaceutical companies looking at RAIN RFID technology to improve their supply chain processes. They are looking for better track and trace solutions as well as improving their inventory processes. On a global scale, uh, a global economy scale, counterfeit pharmaceuticals and fake medications are significant businesses and also represent a serious threat to patient health and safety. In such world, hospitals need a way to authenticate pharmaceutical products to protect patient safety. Hospitals have massive inventories of consumable supplies with diverse expiration dates. Because of this, many products are simply thrown away unused. By tagging consumables with RAIN RFID, Hospitals can not only eliminate manual inventory processes that waste time, but also reduce cost of this wasted inventory, improve inventory accuracy to make better use of their consumables. And finally, 
uh, uh, hospital applications are leveraging RAIN RFID technology to ensure the right patient is receiving the right treatment with the right doses through the right route at the right time. This traceability also ensures that all the suppliers and manufacturers in supply chain healthcare satisfy social responsibility and sustainability standards. Well, fashion and apparel has been one of the fastest growing markets of RAIN RFID, as we all know. But we are now also looking at which next vertical will be the next big boom for us. And the whole pharmaceutical label market will grow till 2024 to 6.5 billion US dollars. And when you then zoom into the growth rates of intelligent labeling and packaging, it turns out that in the next four years, healthcare and pharma will even grow faster than RAIN RFID applications in retail. So pharma and healthcare is therefore a very important market for us. And we join forces within all our divisions at Avery Dennison. Avery Dennison Label Products is delivering upon the demand from the healthcare industry for a wide variety of functional adhesive materials, many with unique qualities for highly specialized applications. Medical tapes and films must be durable, flexible, and safe to use, of course, in a broad range of conditions and combinations, in some cases, even within the human body itself. And we also have an Avery Dennison Medical Adhesive Division that specializes in design and manufacture of adhesive coated materials and even private label medical devices for the healthcare industry. And the company's adhesive technologies and materials are an integral part of products that are in daily use in patient care throughout the whole world. And in pharmacies, clinics, hospitals, intelligent medical packaging with RFID label can help itemize and sort stock to ensure the quality, prevent waste and ensure the patient safety. And that is where every that is an intelligent labeling comes into play. And together we continually find new ways to develop products that can improve patient care. We at Avery Dennison are at the moment in the business of unlocking new possibilities by opening our eyes and minds and listen to the market, what they have to say. And we see ourselves as an enabler for the entire smart supply chain. And we intend on inspiring and building a better tomorrow. And this we would like to do with you, our customers, our partners. And therefore, Avery Dennison keeps on investing in new innovative technologies and IoT startups. With the integration of SmartTrack, we are now the world's largest suppliers of RAIN RFID labels and tags. And we can tag any item in the supply chain, from low cost ready to print inlays, for item level identification for blisters or vials, up to extremely durable tags for returnable transport items for distribution of medication or raw materials. And like I mentioned before, we also now have a full range of sensor RFID technology that can capture additional information like moisture or temperature. And we at Avery Dennison believe in teamwork. It's one of our core values. And therefore, we like to work in an RFID ecosystem. If you work with Avery Dennison, we will ensure that we will deliver a full solution to solve your challenges. And making packaging and labeling intelligent is not all. It's just the start of a great project. We at Avery Dennison also deliver backend platform for the digital ID to enable these full solutions. The platform captures all unique digital IDs already at birth during production and is a backend platform for different software applications from our partners. So depending on the use case and what you as customer would like to achieve with a digital twin, we can work with the best partner in our ecosystem. And why did we set this all up? Well, we recognize that brand protection is very important nowadays. Making sure that genuine products are in your packaging is key for that. And patient safety is always top priority for companies like yourself. And you, however, also would like to know where your products land and make sure this is done in the most profitable way. Well, we can easily deliver the data for your dashboards to give you the right KPIs to steal your company. 
And with connected apps from partners, we already have realized patient engagement programs like with our partner Suku, where we've done this for COVID-19 test kits. Feel free to have a look at our website for more information on our full digital ID solutions. And one of the questions I personally get often is, uh, but how do I get that error of ID thing into a label like we already use? Well, it's really simple. The construction of a passive RAIN error of ID label is quite simple because you already have a pharmaceutical grade phase stock where pharmaceutical information can be printed on. And the RAIN error of ID antenna and microchip are inserted into the traditional pressure sensitive construction. That's the great thing about working with Avery Dennison. We and our converters can deliver all you need, the right phase stock, the right inlay, and the right adhesive. The product is a pharma label with a RAIN error of ID inlay embedded into the pharma construction. As a global market leader in RAIN RFID uh, with 20 years of experience, Impinge have become pioneers across specific industries, healthcare being one of them. Our technology provides operational applications a fully integrated, easy to deploy and high performing foundation in which you can build end to end track and trace solutions. Uh, through our continued investment in delivering the best of breed uh, RAIN RFID technologies, we are number one in the market today with over 250 patents. Our vision is quite simple. This is to connect and give digital life to everyday items. The Internet of Things is about connecting things, not just billions of powered electronic devices, but typically extending the reach of the Internet to, for example, healthcare and pharma items, such as medical supplies, equipment, medical assets, and so on. By connecting those assets, it enables hospital staff to identify, locate, authenticate and engage in each item. RAIN RFID technology provides an automated and reliable data capture system that empower healthcare applications to improve, for example, patient safety, manage surgical instruments or medical equipment, support staff and patient workflow, authenticate quality and sterilization process, automate supply chain management, and much more. And by connecting physical assets to the digital world, Impinch technology is allowing businesses to analyze and use data about these items to improve operational efficiencies. Imagine a truly connected world where you can engage a digital representation, a digital avatar, of virtually any of your assets in real time and think of, of what you could do by knowing the state of those assets, each of them, and the decision you could make on top of that information. Uh, really, this is the very basis of the Internet of Things with RAIN RFID as an essential building block, providing value in the ability to analyze anticipate and automate pharma and healthcare processes based on the data gathered from the digital representation of those physical assets. And let me focus on one specific thing related to our technology. One of the key differentiators of impinge technology stacks resides within our advanced algorithmic integrated into our reading units to deliver intelligence about item state. I will name four, and you can see three of them on this slide. First, it's about identification, to provide a detailed identity of an asset, including its past usage, its presence in a given area. Second, it's about transition to detect the movement, including the direction of an item. For example, hospital equipment moving among zones. Third, it's about location, to locate precisely the position of any good within the monitored area, report on position or coordinates. 
and a force that is coming early next year called authentication to validate the identity of an asset. This very specific one, not another one. And this intelligence about item state is then directly and simply shared with any business application, such as healthcare application, to permit the following. And sorry about the slide on the scalable solution, it's more about industry manufacturing related. So let me share some examples of solutions that could be uh, organized with this kind of technology. One, to organize inventory and location of supplies. Secondly, to manage and improve visibility of critical asset management. It can automate management of medical equipments to improve their utilization and at all times ensuring full compliance with regulation, such as sterilization, for example, prevent loss and in turn reducing cost. And third, this is to improve supply chain safety and visibility, a very important matter the tracking of medical devices and pharmaceutical from the point of manufacturing through delivery to the patient use. Based on what we have seen happening locally as well as globally, our health system must continue to prepare for the impact of a massively increased patient load, particularly impacting hospitals. I'm speaking about the current pandemic for sure. We have seen recently more than ever hospitals have been challenged in providing the best care possible in what has been an extreme chaotic situation where people and asset management have turned into an additional challenge facing this COVID-19 crisis. We at Avery Dennison see two macroeconomic trends, the rise of e-pharmacy and the connected patient as well as serialization security. E-pharmacy was barely imagined 10 years ago, but today it's driving change at the patient level, where incorporated ROID labels can make the patient experience both interactive and convenient. We are seeing more applications where pharmaceutical companies are looking to improve connectivity. Imagine a world where your prescriptions came with a virtual pharmacist, you could simply tap your phone to your medicine and have an interaction with this virtual pharmacist. Ask some standard questions. Check if any other medications or supplements you are taking will have an adverse effect on the medicine. Or simply get some reassurance that you were remembering what the doctor told you correctly. And for serialization security, two important drivers are the prevention of counterfeiting and managing the Drug Supply Chain Security Act regulations all of which a smart interactive label can solve. And the Drug Supply Chain Security Act outlines steps to build an electronic interoperable system to identify and trace certain prescription drugs as they are distributed. So visibility throughout the supply chain is one of the leading areas for pharmaceutical and healthcare applications. Being able to ensure that medicines and medical devices travel through the supply chain as intended is something that many consumers do not even consider, but it's vitally important. Drug companies are required to show chain of custody from the point of manufacture throughout the whole supply chain. And the Drug Supply Chain Security Act is driving the traceability requirements through every step of the supply chain, and it will be incorporating more and more type of medicines over the next few years. And as we're making our way through the current pandemic, we have all seen how fragile these different supply chains can be, whether it's stock tight toilet paper or any other distributed item, where we see RAIN RFID being a great way to help provide better visibility throughout this supply chain and also improve efficiencies of how goods are distributed. So my key takeaway here is that these and other trends will drive further adoption of RAIN RFID labels in the pharmaceutical and healthcare space. And one of the two use cases we would like to share today with you is about supply chain for the first one. The supply chain management focus on the end-to-end -end management of items like medical devices, pharmaceuticals, consignment goods and other supplies 
on this point of manufacture through the patient use, as we did uh, articulate and explain in the previous slide. A good number of deployed solutions focus today on leveraging barcodes to provide standard machine-readable product information. However, most products have multiple barcodes, which make identification of the key information quite difficult to find and to identify. Plus, barcodes can often be damaged, making them hard to scan. I would like to highlight three major points uh, related to uh, the supply chain uh, visibility and accuracy. Uh, first, it's about medical devices and high-value supply manufacturers that often place their items in hospital on consignments, so they are easy to procure for their customers. Without an automated way to manage this inventory, for example, by reading wirelessly using RAIN RFID, manufacturers must rely on hospital staff to report or periodic visit from sales reps to manage that inventory, but also the replenishment and the billing of the system. Manually tracking the usage and status of materials as a second point is time consuming, expensive, and prone to a human error, which leads to waste and higher cost while putting patients at risk. The example of smart cabinets to automate inventory management of medical equipment and supplies and send automatic alerts about issues such as changing temperature and pending expiration dates. The result is less waste, lower cost, and clinicians have the products they need to provide quality patient care. And third point, it's about healthcare organization. Uh, they must comply with this notion of unique device identification uh, as a regulation as part of their operations, which means that data such as a device product name, serial number, the date of manufacturing, and much more must be traceable from the point of manufacturing uh, through the patient. And RAIN RFID solution bring a more efficient way to encode and manage important product information, regardless of an item disposition in the supply chain. And this for maximum safety and visibility. As a takeaway uh, on this, I would like to share four key benefits. First, it's about monitoring supply chain of supplies and equipments, both for patient care and health worker safety. Second benefit, responding to the surge in demand for critical health services with automation of tracking medical equipment. Third, tracking of medical devices and pharmaceutical from this point of manufacturing through the, the delivery and then the patient use. Uh, this is enabling the way to fight on frauds and diversion. And last but not least, it's about streamlining UDI, unique uh, device identification data, uh, by tracking, managing, and enabling their integration into health record systems. Well, and as we all know, recalls can be a very painful process for pharma companies. And the crux being a lack of an efficient interconnected system. When it comes to manufacturing, many pharmaceutical companies are still printing out standard operating procedures, signing off on training using physical documents and populating their back tracker by hand. While I'm manually inputting data introduces human error which slows down the manufacturing and the recall process, ultimately costing time and resources. Manual data entry is also imprecise, which leads to pharmaceutical companies putting more lots from shelves than will likely affect it. And using this Drug Supply Chain Security Act, uh, which actually proposes an electronic interoperable system, many issues with the current recall system will be resolved. And with this electronic system, supply chain will be more visible, enabling companies to identify exactly counterfeit drugs way far more easily. And the new system will also heighten efficiency and accuracy as specific lots and eventually products will be identified in a recall, 
preventing good products from being discarded. And RAIN RFID technology can support this as no other technology to enable visibility of the supply chain, which is so much needed for this. And now that those assets arrive at hospital from the supply chain, uh, let's shift our attention uh, related to what represents the key challenges. Uh, first of all, it's about underutilization. When assets are not well managed, they can be underutilized and used inefficiently. With manual processes, hospital staff waste time in each shift searching for equipment. And more important, they hold critical devices as they don't trust the devices will be available when needed. And this creates a perceived shortage. The second point is about the loss of those assets. Uh, our studies recent found that any given piece of mobile equipment is used less than 50% of its available uptime. And because what? Why? It's hidden, waiting to be cleaned, calibrated, or simply in the wrong place. And hospitals have overspending on medical assets to prevent this perceived shortage. Understanding better the usage patterns, uh, staff are able to move equipment efficiently through their systems. And third, it's about the processes, the inefficient process. When assets are misplaced or stolen, <clears throat> Hospitals need to replace them items, but sometimes it's necessary for those assets to live with patients in a legitimate manner. For example, equipment that is attached to a patient being transferred to a different service or a different hospital. Understanding where and why equipment is living is also really important for operational teams to know so they can account for both loss and legitimate exit of assets. And as a second use case, uh, uh, let's focus on this inventory and supply management. Uh, that is to provide accurate and real-time information about the location, the stock levels, the usage, consumption, of supplies, consumables, medication, instrument, biologic, devices, so that items will always be available where and when needed, and that inventory can be managed at lower cost. Uh, this is to improve utilization, to manage expiration dates or expiring dates in many departments. Outdated methods for inventory management of medical supplies are time consuming, very labor intensive, and prone to error. And staff in charge of healthcare supplies need to ensure that the right medical supplies are ready available when and where needed. However, many of the systems in use today for supply management are inefficient and do not most of the time support those goals. RENA FAD technology is able to provide accurate, real-time visibility into inventory levels across multiple supplies rooms. Uh, we could name shelves, cabinets, or any other areas. Uh, those power solutions eliminate inefficiencies in the system, including stockout, over-ordering, hoarding of supplies, and wasted supplies. RENIFID solution is by far best position to deliver this real-time visibility, uh, this visibility into inventory levels, uh, improving utilization, decreasing waste. And, and let me share with you key three benefits uh, in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. First, I would like to share uh, optimizing the supplies of PPE those personal protective equipments that are used every day by healthcare personnel to protect themselves, patients, and any others when providing care. The PPE shortage has posed a tremendous challenge, and we have seen that uh, globally across the healthcare system uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic uh, did uh, sadly reveal uh, some weak visibility about the PPE. Uh, automating the, the tracking of supplies and medications 
ensure hospital staff have what they need, whether it be PP, ventilators, or any other critical equipment. Well, as Vincent just showed, inventory management is an area of concern for the pharmaceutical industry. By tagging every stock medication with a RAIN RFID label, hospital pharmacies are eliminating the manual process of checking inventory, and they are able to keep electronic record of medicine location, expiration, recalls, etc. Well, and I always learned in RFID to never say 100%, but we'll say it brings a 99.9% accuracy of your inventory. All our RAIN RFID tags were tested against manual input on clipboards and barcode scanning to compare. And as one might expect, manually writing down the data down a clipboard was the slowest. And barcode scanning was two times faster than manually writing the data. That's still pretty good, but RFID was, of course, able to top the barcode method, scanning the data 12 times faster than barcode scanning. RFID tech scanning was also nearly perfect in accuracy, where barcoding was roughly 92% and clipboard 85% accurate. We also know that, for example, pharmacy kits contain 10 to 20% expired or incorrect medications, which take a lot of manual labor to find the items to replace. A unique RFID number gives each product its own digital, unique identity. And this unique identity helps eliminate any human error and increasing inventory accuracy dramatically, as every product can be accounted for using the corresponding ID number, and also enabling with this expiry date management. All of this for the most important goal for all of us, which is patient safety. And so uh, to round up on the two topics uh, Frank and I have presented to you so far, uh, I would like to explain that generating a digital avatar from a physical item, investing in an automated track and trace system for processes and assets come with four key benefits. One, about the staff. We are reducing the risk and improving their safety. Second, it's about supplies. Management and visibility of a streamlined supply chain of supplies and equipments, both for patient care and health worker safety. Third, about the space focusing on making adequate space and zones in hospitals to provide a safe environment. And fourth, it's about systems, a central tracking system to respond to the surge in the demand for services and equipment. With the automation and insight that RAIN RFID can deliver, we believe it can significantly reduce the impact to healthcare system and certainly help with situations such as the challenges we are facing in the current pandemic. We strongly believe, every day Nissan and Impinge, that it is the time now to invest in the healthcare supply chain and inventory management for future resilience and above all protect healthcare workers and patients. We are now going to share with you four key use cases uh, related to deployed solutions. Well, the first case study we would like to show you is one where RAIN RFID has enabled a more efficient supply chain. Well, pharmaceutical and medical goods are one of the most sensitive and supervised product groups worldwide which means that any product tracking and management system must be completely reliable and proof against theft, fraud, or counterfeiting. Hanmi Pharmaceutical, one of Korea's largest pharmaceutical companies, employs RAIN RFID to increase efficiency, monitor product movements, and to help them to carry out the government-related quality management. The company already uses RAIN RFID tracks to track 60 million products units annually, from packaging to picking and shipping enabling a fully automated process from order received to the shipment of a pack carton to the wholesaler. Since already 2009, the company has been demonstrating best practice in the handling of sensitive pharmaceutical products throughout the whole supply chain. 
They installed an automated picking system to work with RFID using RAIN RFID tags and readers to identify products and then to collect those, box and ship those items without the need for any human intervention. The only manual portion of the process, in fact, is an inspection carried out by handy staff as each box is packed for an order. The boxes come with a pre-encoded RAIN RFID tag, which contains the order information and are then run through the shipment verifier, a conveyor monitored by an impinge reader. And the tags on each item and the carton are then read, and if all tags match the order information, the carton is verified and proceeds to the dispatch process. And then at local pharmacies, store employees and handy representatives use RFID handheld readers powered by impinge reader chips to take the inventory information wirelessly then automatically transmit it into a Hanmi central information server. This analytic provides valuable visibility of inventory and sales levels. And Hanmi's pedigree system, which is used to manage the distribution of individual drugs between their production by pharmaceutical companies and their dispatch to hospitals and pharmacies where they are sold to patients, is not just an efficient distribution management system, it can also prevent the distribution of health-threatening fake medicines and also solve the problem of unlicensed medicines being distributed in the pharmaceutical supply chain. Easy expiry date management for Hanmi itself and even for partners further down the supply chain like hospital and pharmacists is easy enabled now with the use of RAIN RFID. And the solution where both technology from Avery Dennison and Impinch came together brings key improvement to the pharmaceutical supply chain. So to summarize, we see increased accuracy and efficiency of shipping process. Hanmi has greatly reduced its shipment error rate as carton content is verified before the shipment. Improve inventory visibility and customer service. With each item tagged, accuracy and visibility of store inventory are greatly improved, reducing out of stocks, labor effort and costs, and enabling efficient return of recalled items of which we spoke about before. Empowering patient safety, automated inventory enforces the management of expiration dates of products on the shelves and can prevent sales of counterfeit medications. And last but not least, accurate forecast product demand. The whole increased visibility of sales by product, region and even by season raised Hanmi's ability to forecast customer demand and anticipate the replenishments. Here you will see a video which we will not show through the webinar, but we, you will get the link. Please watch it after the webinar, and it's a great video explaining all the benefits that Rain RVD can bring you. So let's have a look at another successful customer case in the healthcare automatically reading medical kits using also again Rain RVD. Kitchak, the leader in RAIN RFID medication management solutions for hospitals, and Avery Dennison are partnering to work directly with drug manufacturers worldwide to apply RAIN RFID checks for medication packaging. Checking pharmaceutical products in this way helps improve patient safety by enabling more accurate tracking and authentication of medication throughout the entire supply chain, all with the goal of reducing error rates to nearly zero. It also eliminates a need for cost and labor intensive in-house medication tagging at already over 500 hospitals in America. And the partnership provides a complete solution for manufacturers and contract manufacturing organizations that want to implant RFID tagging in facilities that package drugs at high speeds in line, of course, with the FDA, current good manufacturing practices, but also as well for hospitals looking for end-to-end -end inventory tracking. And how does it then work in the hospital? Well, when a kit used is returned to the pharmacy, it's placed in a scanning station and the software displays which items are missing and need to be restocked if any medications are nearing expiration and if there are any extra medications that need to be removed. A painful manual process in the past, which took up to 30 minutes per tray, is now reduced dramatically by 90% to three minutes per tray only. It reduces the error rates to nearly zero and frees up time for pharmacists to spend time, which is so much needed on patient care. 
So this whole solution, which includes packaging line automation and error for the vendor certification, hardware and services, provides downstream visibility for manufacturers, giving them the ability to track a particular drug for manufacturer to the point of use and upstream visibility for hospital pharmacies, enabling them to know exactly the drug is in the right place at the right time for the right patient, as well as where the drug originated. And with this uh, third use case, uh, let me expose uh, an example of supply chain safety solution. This uh, UDI, uh, this uh, unique uh, device identification track and trace solution is about improving healthcare supply chain operations and comply with UDI regulations using REN RFID enable uh, tracking system. Uh, regulatory compliance is an essential part of successful healthcare operations. A, a, a partner of us called ViewMade uh, uh, did build this healthcare solution uh, to create a dedicated uh, answer helping manufacturers and hospitals to comply with regulation for medical device identification. This solution monitors medical devices identification data throughout the supply chain from the manufacturer, so the manufacturing point, to patient and liaises them to hospital administrative system and patient electronic health records. The exact location and details such as value and usage of all medical supplies and products can be then efficiently managed because they are all consolidated in real time. The patient care and safety are significantly improved by preventing expired, expiring or recalled devices to reach patient. And Frank did explain most of the benefits about this uh, in previous slides. This REN RFID solution raises automatically the visibility such item of such items, sorry, to no matter where they are in the supply chain. And here are three main benefits I would like to share with you. One, integrate with hospital system and patient records, a very important matter. The UDI data are integrated with hospital clinical billing ERP system and patient electronic health record, enabling a more efficient charge capture and billing. Second, eliminate manual processes, save time, increase efficiency by automating medical device identification and tracking. And we spoke also about this uh, overall notion of safety for the patient. And third, this is to comply with the regulation, with this UDI track and trace requirements, because we automatically capture essential product information, the manufacturer name, the batch, the serial number, the expiration date, which is embedded into this user memory data uh, that we were articulating uh, related to the uh, electronic RFID labels. And finally, our fourth use case is about asset management within the hospital. This is an example of efficient asset management uh, using REN RFID enabled asset management solution. One hospital is reducing the loss of costly medical devices and saving thousands. Cardiac telemetry packs kept going missing, and we need to think uh, about the significant cost of $3,500 each. Uh, this was no minor loss for sure. And hospital staff found telemetry packs were, in most cases, getting lost in the laundry or in bed sheets after patients were dis discharged. Eager to reduce asset loss and reduce expenses, this hospital turned into a three-step REN RFID solution. First, each cardiac telemetry pack was equipped with a REN RFID tag chips. Second, impinge readers were installed and deployed at identify high loss collection points, including on their newly implemented sorting cards. 
a way you know, to track specifically at the strategic location where those telemetry packs are located. And third, all the collected data from the reader were sent via software intelligence to specific asset visibility and analytics platform. This digital avatar from the physical item, which are the telemetry pack to be visible and therefore manageable directly within the computing system. Hospital staff are now alerted whenever a telemetry pack enters into this high lost area so they can be retrieved. Using their new sorting card system, the RAIN RFID solution can also show exactly which trash, which laundry bag contains the missing items. This even reduces more the number of bags to be open and so saving times and limit exposure for the healthcare staff to sold materials. The key benefits of this deployed solution are the following. One, real-time alerts, reducing loss of expensive assets. Second, sorting cards can cut down on retrieval time. This helps to reduce time spent looking for lost items and retrieving items. And finally, a very rapid ROI as a result of effective item retrieval. This rate, the hospital is on track to see a total ROI in less than nine months and an estimated annual saving of more than $60,000 just for the telemetry packs. And together, Avri Denison and Impinge, we provide a unique value of RAIN RFID for healthcare providers. The right items, the right for the right patients in the right place at the right times and i would like to share with you three uh, common vision point for successes one we are just at the beginning of solving the challenges discussed today we see a bright future where internet will reach to trillions of everyday items where there is boundless iot second Operational system will know the status of every single thing and will be able to reason on top of that intelligence. And third, it's delivering value for those business applications and for sure the patient safety. And for those solutions, you need an experienced, capable, trustworthy RFID component partner and to work in a full ecosystem for your full RAIN RFID solution. Avri Denison and Impinge value partnerships and deliver what we promised. And you as our customer, you require the premium quality and high availability. And Avery Denison is the only R quality certified full supplier by Auburn University. We are producing 10 billion tags a year, working all optimal with Impinge hardware. And to date, Impinge delivered more than 40 billion of RFID and point ICs to the market. More than 2 million of its reader and gateways are deployed at customer around the globe, showing you that you work with the two leading RFID suppliers in the world. I thank you for your attention and uh, giving the mic back to Nathalie. Thank you, Frank and Vincent, for your presentations. Uh, uh, I do have a few questions, but I will uh, hand over to you. So one of the first one is on slide 12, you mentioned DSCSA. What does it stand for? I will let you uh, answer, Frank. Also, I did uh, provide answers for the yeah. answer box. Uh, yeah. It actually stands for the Drug Supply Chain Security Act. Uh, and this is a, a legacy that, that is proposing an electronic or interoperable system. And at the moment, it's, it's very much focused on the USA, but you also see that suppliers in EMEA now are picking up upon this because many times they have to be compliant with the system to be able to 
sell to the US. And actually, well, like I mentioned, RFID is of course then a great way to support this electronic system. So it stands for Drug Supply Chain Security Act. Okay, thank you. Um, in, in the case one of one of the case study you, you shared, the monitor of product movements, is it in real time? Yes, it is. As soon as a, a product uh, being tagged with Renai Fegi, uh, that is, uh, you know, detect as transitioning from zone one to zone two, for example, from an equipment room to uh, a, a patient room, uh, this is uh, typically reported as it moves. Okay, thank you. And I, and I have another one, which is, uh, I know, always difficult to answer, it's the costs of implementation. Uh, in the system, uh, hospital and pharma um, uh, institute systems, label with RFID tags, uh, is it a minimal cost for the system or how much does it represent uh, regarding uh, the whole system? Maybe I, I let you answer to on the label aspect, uh, Frank, and I will complement on the system yeah. part. Yeah, if you're talking about standard passive uh, rain air of ID labels, uh, well, in high volumes, we can already supply ready to print labels at four cents. Right? So, and we see different kinds of projects. Some projects are very focused on uh, inlays, where you really want to track and trace up to the item level. But sometimes we have hospital projects where it's very much hardware focused, eh? where you would uh, maybe have hundreds of readers and antennas installed, and we only sell a couple of thousand hard tags eh? for hospital beds, for example. And then you're talking about uh, durable RFID tags, which cost between one euro and one euro fifty. So yeah, there is this aspect of cost, and I would uh, you know speak about uh, the infrastructure itself, the readers uh, that are capable to capture information from the labels that can represent here yeah, a certain cost. But let me say that uh, we can also restrict to those uh, readers uh, related to strategic location points, for example, where we store the devices or the medication and where those uh, items are supposed to be used uh, in terms of uh, treatment rooms. So we can specifically uh, focus only on this, that will give uh, a great visibility on how they move. We need to also to think that those direct costs are generating significant indirect saving. What I mean by this is that once we have all the items being uh, uh, labeled, as we said, we can you know, avoid all the wasting time to search for them. And this waiting, uh, searching time is typically an important matter in terms of efficiency. We can also streamline the usage of the supplies, uh, avoiding to uh, over order, uh, to overstock, and therefore to have uh, you know, a number of supplies corresponding to the usage. And uh, you know, last but not least, all aspect of downstream utilization of those uh, tags. All this information can be then translated into intelligence analytics uh, by a qualifying pattern. We understand much more on how they can be used, when they can be used, and this uh, in order you know, to improve the efficiency and therefore the patient safety that has no price, uh, I would say. Uh, and uh, look at the ROI example that I gave in the fourth use case. For sure, it's a very basic and simple uh, use case, but this can be applied to the scale of uh, massive hospitals uh, that can, step by step, you know, uh, uh, monitor those items and generate all those, uh, you know, benefits. Thank you, um, Frank and Vincent. I have a last question before uh, we close this webinar. What is the memory capacity of RAN RFID? Again, not an easy one. Yeah, that, that's really depending on the chip you use. Eh? Um, Impinch has different kind of chips. Uh, and with some chips, there's only um, the EPC memory, as we call it. So you can put a unique number in there. But they also supply chips where an additional user memory. So 
then you can actually put additional information into that user memory. So you make it unique by encoding the EPC part of the memory. And with the user memory, you can put in additional information by partners in the, in the value chain, for example. Yeah, and, and just to, to, to complement on that, uh, uh, you know, EPC uh, between 96 and 128 bits, uh, you know, to be very specific. And as Frank mentioned, uh, more and more uh, customers are using this EPC to translate, I would say, additional information into database uh, because we know that uh, memory on silicon is more costly. Uh, but we have also uh, a full range of uh, chips offering up to 500 bytes uh, of memory, uh, permitting to add uh, much more information directly into the chip. But this has a cost for sure. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for the questions uh, you submitted to our speakers. Thank you to Frank and Vincent. As I said, you will receive pretty rapidly an email with a replay link plus some document to download, like a very nice Gartner report. So I wish you all a, a very good day and thank you for joining this uh, webinar. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.